So what is life coaching? It's one of the most common questions I receive as a professional life coach and one that I think is pretty valid. So in today's video, I wanna to talk to you about what life coaching is, and I'm also going to cover a few of the other really common questions I get for people who are just exploring life coaching, such as, how do I know if I need a life coach? When do I need a life coach? Specifically, what can a life coach do? And how is life coaching different from therapy? All very valid questions. I'm hoping this is going to be one of those everything you ever wanted to know about life coaching, but we're afraid to ask kinds of videos, but I know it's not exhaustive. So if I haven't answered your question, feel free to comment below or message me and I will completely do a part two to this video. So without further ado, let's get into it. So welcome back, and if you happen to be new to my channel, well, welcome to your first video. I'm really excited to have you here. Let me just take a moment to quickly introduce myself so you understand what it is that I, what it is that I do. I've been a life coach and yoga educator for over 30 years. I do something a little unique in that I combine both yoga and life coaching in many of my programs in order to help people transform even faster. So with life coaching, we go through our minds, and with yoga, we're able to go through our bodies and our energy fields. So the transformation can be so much faster. So let's get into what life coaching is. Question number one is how do I know I need a life coach? And I really felt like this would be a good way to respond to what is a life coach. So let me just say that everybody needs a life coach, everyone. So stick with me here. Realize that life coaching is a powerful way to up level your life, to shift it, to move it into an even more joyful, happier, satisfying place. And we can only get ourselves so far. And in fact, you are as far as you can get yourself for the most part right now. And it's a lot like hiring an interior decorator you could do it yourself. You can decorate your, your house yourself for sure, but don't you know when you're in a home in which someone has done the decorating, who knows what they're doing, right? Like it's up leveled. Same with a personal organizer. Yeah, we can clean up our clutter and organize ourselves ourselves, but personal organizers know things that we don't know, right? They know how to arrange things. They know how to organize in a way that really helps your brain in a way that you don't know how, otherwise you already would have done it, right? That's the same with life coaches. We have tricks and tools that we can tap into to help you understand where you are in life more and be able to upgrade it, to move it into a more exciting, more fulfilling space. Now there are two specific reasons I tell people that everybody needs a life coach. The first is everybody has an extraordinary life inside of them. And I define that as the life that's deeply fulfilling, full of purpose and vibrantly joyful for you, whatever that is for you. Because what makes you happy and satisfied is not gonna make the next person happy and satisfied. And that's a wonderful thing, right? That makes the world a really beautiful place. But again, like I said before, you've gotten yourself as far as you can go on your own. You need a little bit of support to go to that next level. We don't know what we don't know, right? Like there's things that we can do to improve our life that it takes someone from the outside looking in to help us with that. Now the second thing is we all have blind areas in our life and I call it life blindness. So what I mean by that is you're probably familiar with it with your home. It's called house blindness and that's where you've got a spot in your home that drives you nuts. Maybe it's clutter that's in the corner or maybe it's a drawer that squeaks every time you open it or an appliance that doesn't quite work right. I mean, when we first moved into our house, three burners of our stove worked and the fourth did not. For probably the first 10 years we lived here, it, it, it's one of those things that annoys you initially and you mean to fix it, you intend to fix it, but if you don't get to it right away, slowly it annoys you less until you stop noticing it altogether. Now I'm using quotes because maybe you're not consciously noticing it, but in your subconscious mind, it still bothers you. And the reason we know that is when you do clean it up. So think about that corner that had that clutter 
and then you clean it up, don't you feel amazing? Like it's just this feeling of ah. Both because you did it, but also because there isn't that noise, if you will, going on in your subconscious that you didn't even know was going on, but it's still there. And when you clean it up and it goes away, it's so soothing and it's so calming and it's so satisfying. Yeah, we have that in our lives too. We all have those blind spot areas in our lives. So whether it's the job we took right out of college because we needed to pay the bills and then we got promoted and we got used to the benefits and we got promoted and we got used to the paycheck and we got promoted that we, we just didn't leave it. And you know, as 20 years went by and you looked out and thought, wait, this isn't the job I really wanted to have. That was, it was just a job of convenience that I took. Or maybe you gain a couple pounds a year and you're thinking, well, that's not a big deal, right? You don't even notice it, right? Just a couple of pounds. But 20 years down the road, that's 40 pounds that you've gained. And you kind of wake up one day and again and go, wait a minute, this is not how I feel good. This does not feel good in my body. And I want to make some changes. So that life blindness, a life coach can help you wake up to that even faster, to notice those things that you're tolerating that you didn't even realize you were tolerating. We all need that person on the outside of our lives who can help us see these things objectively, meaning they don't have a vested interest in your outcome, right? We want you to succeed as a life coach. We want you to get to the other side, but we're not your spouse. We're not your kids. We don't have to live in the house that you're in. We don't have to live with your, your attitudes and your challenges, right? <laughs> like we're that objective outsider looking in who can support you. And we have tips and tricks that can help you take those next steps. And this leads me to the second part, a second part to this question is that is, do we always need to have a life coach then? And should we always have one that we're working with? And my answer is, I'm going to say there are two answers. The first one is immediately is really no. And in fact, in my packages, I work with clients for three months and then we take a break and then they can come back and do it again if we want to take a break. So stick with me. I find that we grow quickly. It's those first hundred days, right? They're very powerful. Hence the, the three months, those first hundred days are really awesome and lots of things can happen. And then it's often good to plateau and just let yourself rest and kind of cement in what you've done and then come back and do it again. Now that said, I have had clients who do several of those right in a row. They're like, we are clicking along and we are moving and we are going through things and shifting. And that's a decision that we actually make together if we want to do it again, because I don't want to create any kind of codependency with me. It's like, if you are really changing, then we'll keep going. If you are just using me to process every week, et cetera, do therapy, which I do not do, we're going to get to that. Then no, we're going to take a break and let yourself rest and then jump back into it if that's what you desire. Now that said, I have worked with my own life coach for I think six years now. We're trying to figure out exactly how many years solidly, but I will say that I know how to use a life coach and I'm really working and transitioning so many things in my life. So it's not that it's an, it, it's, you shouldn't have a life coach all the time. You just want to make sure you're utilizing their services well and you're in a place to. Also realize every life coach has a different niche. So there are times I've worked with one life coach and then I need another. I've actually at one point worked with two at the same time because I was working in two different areas of my life. My niche is, is helping people live their extraordinary life to really dig in and find what their actual dream is and then take those steps to begin to make that dream their reality. I teach manifesting, I teach law of attraction. If someone is looking to declutter their home or they're looking to um, work in any other areas of their life. That's not my work. My work is helping you get to that deeper dream, that thing that really gets you lit. So also realizing that every life coach has their different niche. So it depends on the niche that you're working with for sure, whether or not you work all the time with a coach. Question number two, when do I need a life coach? So life coaches become really handy when there is a gap between where you are and where you really want to be, and you can't bridge that gap. You might even know how to bridge the gap, but you just can't quite do it, or you've tried lots of times, and you just can't get to that next space. 
that's when a coach comes in because a coach can help you take those action steps, figure out why you're not taking those action steps, getting your energy up, that sort of thing in order to help you take it to that next level. Now there is a good chance you're experiencing a gap like that somewhere in your life. Most people are. It is very rare that I find someone can actually create their dream life without some sort of app outside support. And actually I would argue, I don't know if I know anybody who's been able to really tap into their dream life without some sort of support. That is not a failing, that's human. We all have parts of our lives where we have little blinders on and that's usually where we want to improve our lives. We want to create some magic. If we didn't have blinders, we would have created it. I mean, you also have areas of your life, at least I hope, that are going really, really well and that's where you can see it all and you've got it and you can take those actions and, and you don't need the support. But when you have that gap and you kind of feel like you're hitting your head against the wall, then that's often time for a life coach to help. Question number three, specifically, what can a life coach do? Now, again, this is where every life coach is going to be a little different because of the niches. Mine is living your extraordinary life. So that's definitely where I am going to help you tap into. Um, but know again that we have tips and tricks that you don't have access to necessarily. Or I will say, because when I'm working with my own life coach, I giggle whenever she uses my words <laughs> for me. It's like, oh yeah, I did need to hear that. Like even though we know it and you might know it as well, we don't always realize it for ourselves. I hope that makes sense. It's like when my kids would get sick, and I would go, okay, we're gonna do this, 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 and this to help you start to feel better. And then I'd get sick and I wouldn't think of this, this, and this for me. And it's, it's true with these things too. With, you know, we may know what we need to do to take that next step, but we don't think of it, or it's really hard for us to take those steps. I do also want to point out that experience makes a big difference too. So as with everything, if you have a brand new life coach, they won't have as much to to share with you, they still might be the perfect person for you, for sure, but the more experience a life coach has, the more breadth of awareness and perspective that they can offer you. Um, that said, I will say that every life coach is gonna be able to help you see things that you don't necessarily see. Another way to think about it is a life coach can help you see the options. You know when you get in a situation where you feel a little bit desperate and it's like there is nothing I can see that I can do here or this is the only avenue I can see and I can't do it, I can't take those steps, it doesn't feel good, it feels a little scary, it's not what I want to do. There are always options and when we are tapped out of seeing them, a life coach can help you begin to see other options. Again, this is where experience definitely comes in in handy for sure, just like anything, right? More experienced um, life coach will have more to offer you here and, and definitely more options. And finally, I wanna say that a life coach can also help you find a better way. And again, this goes back to what I was talking about with the interior decorator or the you know professional organizer. There are ways to do things that you aren't even aware of, ways to make it easier, ways to make it better, ways to make it more fun that you aren't privy to, if you will. And that's what life coaches can do. We can help you find that way that makes it easier for you to take those steps. It's kind of cool. So that brings me to the final question, question number four. How is life coaching different from therapy? This is, I'm gonna say, the second most common question I get. And often the one that comes with a little bit of weight behind it, you know, people are going, well, why are you better than a therapist kind of thing? And, and I say, well, I'm not, I'm just different. Therapists go back in your life to help you figure out what is the emotional turmoil, the mental turmoil that's going on that's still affecting you today. Okay, what is, what's holding you back? Because that stuff can be like an anchor that prevents you from moving forward. A life coach says, so what, now what? And what I mean by that, it's not like we're belittling this. I don't want you to think it's like, so what, that it happened to you. No, no, no. It's like, I, even, I will even say, well, you can share with me what happened. We're not going down that road. It may help me understand you, but I, I even say, I don't even want the details. I don't even want to go there. Now, what are we going to do? Based on where you are right now, what do you want to do? What action do you want to take? Now, I will say that a lot of, there are some therapists that make good coaches because they do that. 
And I've had a lot of clients who come to me who are either in therapy and they're like, and I wanna be able to take action while I'm in therapy, or they're really tired of therapy. They're like, I just feel like I've done all I can here. I just wanna move forward. And most of the time they can. Um, every once in a while you'll get someone who's really, really stuck and that usually means they need to do more work here. Um, but the main difference in between therapy and, and life coaching is therapy goes backwards, coaching moves forwards. So you ready to take your life to the next level? I hope so. I've got a couple of options for you. First of all, you can work with me privately. I usually have two or three spots open up in my own practice each month. So you can check the link below to find out more information. Second thing you can do is you can also check out my Hacking Happiness course. It is a life coaching quick start. It's got a workbook, a bunch of videos, and it'll really help you take those next few steps into living your extraordinary life. And stay tuned right here. Be sure you subscribe and hit the bell for notifications for every time that I drop a video. I alternate between, more or less, between yoga videos that include a life coaching component and life coaching videos that will help give you tips and tricks for taking your life to the next level, especially for women of a certain age. Thanks for joining me and may this help you take that next step in your life because you know what? Life is meant to be extraordinary. See you on the next video. Thank you.